what's up what's up part two part two but this 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 um video is a little bit different so y'all all know yesterday was 11 11 um uh, and you never know how powerful manifestation days are until that manifestation that big wish you have made years ago finally came knocking on your door so after all has been happening my cat he's irritated trying to go out go yes he got two cats pregnant y'all like he got two cats on the way <laughs> so let me take this gum out so after all has been happening i was able to get grace with a manifestation i have been searching for my entire half of my entire life um i had this aunt y'all that loved me so much just as pure as my granddad loved me and i finally found her <laughs> so i'm super happy for that and i manifested this years ago i never gave up looking for her never gave up i always kept looking so this one particular day, I'm so big on, I'm going to do it myself. I don't have to ask nobody for help. I don't want nobody in my business. That's how I am. But for some reason, the night before 11-11, um, something just kept tugging on my soul. Like, maybe it was my granddad. It was like he was tugging on my soul. Like, you looking for love in all the wrong places, granddaughter. It's time for you to get the soul tribe and the love that you really freaking need so y'all i keep my um my amethyst crystal <laughs> i want to glue it <laughs> like no i want to just put it somewhere visible but it's okay i just put it back in there so i was like okay i don't know what he's trying to tell me i was having so many things happen to me like spiritually i cannot give y'all all the tea on what was happening but I know something was pulling me to look into further into it. So I called up a friend. You know what? My soul just reminded me. My soul just said, that is not no friend. Whoo. My soul just said, that is not no friend. That is your soul tribe. That is your sister. She is your sister. She is your big sister, a soul tribe sister. So, she know who she is. Hey, I don't got to make nothing up. You are my soul tribe sister, and I love you always. Now, listen, me and this soul tribe sister, we do not talk every day. Um, I do not blow her up with all my problems. She do not blow me up with all her problems. Whenever something good going on in her life, I send her congratulations. Whenever something go good in my life, she send me congratulations. This, this lady have known me since I was a little girl and never did me wrong, never hurt me. So, I always loved her for that. You know, children remember who was good to them no matter what. Like, it was times when a lot of stuff tried to get her to look at me different and she still wouldn't. So, I honestly respect and love her wholeheartedly for that because she was able to help me. I called her. I said, hey, listen, my private investigator. That's who she is. She's a private investigator, y'all. She's really, she get paid for that. So I called her. I said, listen, I've been looking. I don't know what's been dragging me down here, but I know my granddad is telling me something. Can you please help me? Just like that. See, when you don't do wrong by people, and I'm a prime example of that. I, don't, I didn't do wrong by her. I've never done wrong by her. So by me never doing nothing wrong by her and her never doing nothing wrong by me, she always was quick to help me. Even for the 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 biggest things the smallest things you know still help me so the fact that she helped me and and and, and, and you know already was on that verge even if you know she just helped me and i was able to get in contact that whole night i slept i was listen <laughs> The information I got emailed over to me, the information I got sent over to me, I was on it all night, y'all. Because I wasn't, I, I didn't know how important it was for me to find my auntie because I wasn't really looking for her at this moment like, that night. 
before 11 11 manifestation day i was looking into my grandfather uh oh excuse me so i end up finding her through my grandfather so i'm like hold on granddad you trying to tell me something <laughs> and i can feel his energy like it was so deep like it was a a burst of love energy so i end up finding my aunt i found her family i call her i end up calling her at work <laughs> when i tell y'all that is the most happiest accomplishment i have made so far yet far as finding her the love she got had for me and she still have the same love y'all we was texting all yesterday um sending pictures over and over it, it's just beautiful like that was what was supposed to have been given to me and that is something i manifested years ago and never remembered it after so long but i never gave up and i'm so thankful to this friend slash soul sister y'all um she is a miracle and i'm so thankful for her like that was the best thing you could have ever done for me and no matter what i you you help create some love to re, re reunite you know what i'm saying rekindle so i'm thankful for that but i just i just want to say to y'all today is 12 12 2022 so today is another beautiful powerful day you guys so just take this moment and love on you some more because like i say can't nobody love you like you stay grounded do not let these motherfuckers play with your mental Listen to your discernment, meaning as your discernment is your, 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 your intuition. Listen to that. But your discernment is more in sync than the intuition. But your discernment is to view these people how you view them, but also see how they view themselves. See what they're doing. You get what I'm saying? And, and know what they're doing is, is their own conscience. So take what they're giving you and go and run and get the fuck away if it's not benefiting you. We are rising as planet and anything is coming against us. Rather, <laughs> they can say, listen, even if I'm not a celebrity, they will still try to come against me because I am still chosen, choosing to wake this planet up no matter what I have been through, no matter what has transpired in my life. Y'all must stay consistent. And if you fall short, it's okay. We all do. Ain't nobody perfect. And the ones that saying they're perfect, they got the most problems. You're not perfect. You're having a first-time human experience. You go fall and bump your head a few times, but get the fuck back up and never let them see you sweat. So I want to sing a quick song, y'all. Ooh. For the things that you have gave me, <clears throat> loving you so blissfully, taking yourself and tell it over and over again. They can't and won't hurt you anymore. So once you open up that door, remember who you do it for. So hold on to your dreams. You must be. So don't let go. Pursue your dreams. Oh, if it means. Mm
this reality the way you intended for it to be. Rename yourself. Reclaim yourself. Don't give up on your health. Reclaim yourself. Know who you are. They will not take you from the shining star you are. You must seek. Pretend to be. open up that throat chakra that is how you open up your throat chakra rather you can bend a singing voice and tone you're still a singer sing if you know the lyrics baby sing it if you in your car and you a favorite tune come on sing that shit as loud as you can because you don't even know what you're doing you're opening up your throat chakra you're releasing anything that's blocking it to where you can speak you can talk Speak how you feel, see how you feel, and, and feel it. Release it. So that's the problem we all have. We get a we, get, we have a problem with releasing things. That come from material things too. We have a problem releasing dirty laundry. We have a problem with releasing things we no longer need anymore. We we don't want to throw it away because it holds so much value. No, it does not. Throw that shit the fuck away. It's been sitting in your house for too long and and it's seen pass nigga, pass nigga, pass nigga, and it's still in here. Girl, send that motherfucking comforter set to the trash. You done laid in this bed with this weird ass entity ass nigga with this same comforter set, and you let this comforter set go at every house. Girl, you was holding on to him and his sweaty ass feet. Throw that shit away. Let it go. Let it flow. Hold on to nothing. Nothing on this work. When you die, you think it's coming with you. When you transition over, is it coming with you? No, because a, a, a shirt can't, it, it, it can't go through all those rams with you. That shirt been a, burnt the fuck up. Know that you are powerful. I love you. And I have so much more coming. Um, I just wanted to break this down with a nice little tune. You know, because I'm so happy. I'm so thankful. This is the most happiness I've felt since my children. And I'm still happy with my children, y'all. I love my children. Just honor yourself. Love yourself. And when these motherfuckers come with these little... Uh, Pinocchio games and problems and they trying to make you feel like you need to rush and get this love to ex just exceed to achieve whatever fuck you trying to say y'all know what I'm trying to say I don't need that to know who I am congratulations to all the ones that have a partner I'm, n I'm not envious or jealous of it I'm, 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 I'm trying to tell you I'm not I'm very happy for you but what's for me for me it's gonna come Right now, it's just not my time. It's not in my 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 vision right now, and I have to. You have to learn something. When certain memories come up in your head and they're negative, 
You have to ask yourself, are these my thoughts or someone else's? Because the ego play tricks on you too, but also some people have put certain words and they say some shit in your presence and you don't know what they say. And then next thing you know, you go home, you're thinking about what they done said. That was a spell they tried to put. So whenever you get a thought of something and you feel like you're not good enough for something or you're going to fuck something up, say, hold on, wait, this is not my thoughts. I send it back to the sender. You can't play in my head. I caught you. I caught you. Get the fuck on. Feel me? Like it. Because they try to come play in your head. Like last night, I'm just meditating. I'm just sitting there. No phone, no nothing. Phone in the living room, charging. I'm, I'm in my room, chilling, not thinking about Well, I'm thinking about a few things. Then I'm starting thinking about my future. And the next thing you know, this old past negative entity come back up. But I see red eyes first. Like some, some dragon eyes. Not dragon. Reptilian eyes. <laughs> and it was real quick. And I seen it. And next thing you know, I start getting these evil uh, memories of this person. How this person killed two of my cats. Like, it was so crazy. And I was just like, you know, I don't want to think of that shit no more. I sent it back to the center. He did what he did. He's going to get his karma. He's going to get his karma. He's probably going through it now. That's probably why I, uh, I was able to think about him or get that memory of him because he's thinking about what he's done. He's going through some shadow work. But after all, y'all, I cannot be manipulated. I can see him manipulating strategies. And once I notice that it's been a manipulating strategy, I cut straight into it. May you live. May you be free. May you rise. Do what you need to do. I love you. Hey.